you want to have somebody steady, make sure they steady the legs so when you do cut it, it's, they, they stay together. Make sure you're on a flat surface so that when you're um, cutting the band, if they're leaning to one side, you don't want them leaning, going over. So we've already put one leg down from another pallet, and he's, he's got that sitting here in a position where we want to put it, kind of determine where the spot's going to be. And then he's going to carefully set the bench leg down. Up, we just kind of we're showing it with like a one by four that we set along the back edge, and what that does is it helps you helps you kind of establish that the that the legs are sitting square, and so that you could line them up, align your legs up. And then what he's also going to do now is he's also going to take his tape measure and he's going to measure between the benches. On a five foot bench, it's going to be about 40, 40 inches in between the legs. So that you're so that's how you start out with your bench and then the next step will be to put the uh, metal plates on for the assembly we separated them at 40 inches between the legs now we've added the plates you can see where this plate is set one one hole back there's a there's an F in the front of the plate that designates the front so that would be right here that would be the front right there so Chuck's going to show you how to install the other side. He's going to take a um, Allen wrench set and he's going to slowly snug the uh, bench, the plate down. And so what we're going to do now is, and these guys are going to, now you can see the bottom of the bench has two indentations. Basically those are your plates where your plates are. You can see there's inserts in the bottom of that uh, bottom of the seat so those are those inserts are going to line up with the plates on the bench carefully lift those make sure you you using the propping proper lifting procedure when you're lifting and Chuck is going to take these the little button head uh, cap screws we have they're one inches long and he's going to carefully thread these in the so Mike has got a Mike has got a little uh, Punch to help center the leg up a little bit. So you may have to adjust the leg. Benches, make sure that they're they're threaded in there properly. There's going to be a slight adjustment. You may have to move the leg around a little bit to to get the. So now, when you're assembling the bench, if your plates do not lay flat against the bottom of the concrete, then that means your leg is slightly out of a line, and so the leg has to be bumped over slightly. Straight to straighten that up. That this this metal plate should lay flat against the concrete in here on both sides. So you have to make adjustments if that's if it's not correct. See the Chuck Chuck is aligning up the plate. He's threading these in here. We've made we've made adjustments on this bench now that. To make sure all the all the bolts line up, and so you can see none of them have been tightened. They're all just sitting there loose. We decided that we're going to leave those bottom bolts loose on the, on the bottom uh, of the bottom of the bench. We're not going to snug those up yet. Next step is that we're going to apply these uh, these bolts that have been cut off, and they're going to be threaded into the top insert of the back of the bench here. Place while you're during the installation process. So he's just hand threading those in there. He's not doing anything more than that. He's not doing any using any kind of a wrench or pliers or anything. Now, if there's a if it's slightly tight to get in there and you have to use a pair of pliers to do it, then that's that would be another option. But don't over tighten it. You're just basically snugging it to the bot, to, into the insert. Right now we've got the uh, the 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 seat on it. We've we've threaded our studs into the back of the seats. Now we're going to uh, pick up the back carefully and set it on the back of the bench. As you can see, I didn't have it on the video, but they use the proper lifting procedure, not lifting with their back, but lifting with their legs. And they're gonna carefully set that bench into that spot. And those, those back holes on the bench Are a way of holding that back on there and steadying it while while they're waiting. You know, and one guy's going to kind of stay back there and kind of hold and make sure that it stays where it's at. I'm going to walk around the back side here to kind of show what we what they just did. 
because there's a slot in the back of the bench, and that slot fits right into the leg. So if your legs are lined up properly, it should run, be, run, run parallel along the back side of that bench. And carefully, that's the bolt right there. He's going to carefully thread that into the back, the back of the seat. Now, the, the thing what we may have to do on that, if, it's, if it goes in a little tight, sometimes what you have to do is one guy may have to adjust the, adjust the seat a little bit up and down to get it, just, just to get it started into the thread. So he's care, he just carefully lifts it up just to align it a little bit, and he carefully threads it in there, the bench. Not using any power tools. It's I think you're better off using manual Allen wrenches instead of a instead of a power tool. So the biggest thing is not over tight in the back. So what we're going to do right now is we've got everything assembled. We got all all the bolts started on the entire bench. We haven't tightened anything now. What we're going to do is he's going to snug the back back bolts first. Everything is started. He's going to work them in there. There might be a little tension on the wrench on this on these back these back screws. You just gotta tighten it up there and secure it carefully. Now he's just putting a little pressure on. So he's got that done. Now the next step is he's gonna he's gonna get his other Allen wrench side and he's gonna tighten the bottom screws underneath here that we have that we haven't tightened yet. There's 12 of them total. So he'll tighten those up. Somewhere in there, it'd be nice to, since you're doing that if. If you have an uneven surface after you've assembled it and the, tape, and the bench rocks, you'll want to shim the bench. You know I mean? we, 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 inc we include a couple plastic shims with our shipment. If, if the bottom of the bench is a slight rock in between here, like a rock in here, then you take a shim and you could put it under the, on, the, on the side of the bench and then you would put that in the side here and then, and then pound it in if, if necessary to take the rock out. And for aesthetics, you can a lot of times put it in the back. Either the back of the bench would be what might be the better place to put it. But what we do on that, that way any rock in it um, allows you to um, make sure the bench is secure and it's not out of alignment. Now the final step would be if you decide, if this is on a surface and they wanted to anchor it down, would be to anchor the bench. And what we would do then in that particular case is we would, um, we, we, we have some stainless steel anchor kits that we, we provide. And what you want to make sure is when you're anchoring these, we have inserts in the very bottom of the hole here. So when you're assembling the bench, that's one of the things you want to make sure is when you're putting the bench together, you make sure that these inserts are on the inside of the leg so that when you anchor it, your anchor kits are on the inside and not the outside of the bench. This is an option that is available if, um, and it's, it's recommended in a lot of cases. Um, for anchoring the bench down so nobody moves it or tries to slide it. These anchor kits are made so that they fit right in there, insert right into the hole. There again, there's a thread in there. You just, you just snug that bolt in and then you use a, we have a, um, we have a, what, what they call a wedge anchor. What, what will be required on this particular, if you're going to install these, will, you'll need a uh, concrete masonry drill with a 3 8 drill bit. You'll drill the hole in here, right where his pencil is. You'll drill a hole there. You'll knock these masonry, uh, these wedge anchors in there, and they will secure the bench down to the surface. This is an option that's available, not totally necessary.